is Dale D'Antoni here. Welcome to the Sofa Sessions. D'Antoni, Wines. Welcome back to the Sofa Session Podcast. This week, we have the absolute one and only, probably the most famous person I've ever met in my life, the most beautiful person I've ever met in my life, and the person I love more than life itself. Mallory freaking Hobbs is on this week. Uh, it's basically just like a relationship episode. We talk about our relationship. We talk about what works for us. We uh, try to give out advice as well. Um, we, t- we talk about like the most important things in a relationship and how to keep it healthy. We also answer questions from you guys that you guys sent in. Um, so yeah, it was a fun episode. Uh, definitely comment what what you think of the episode. Comment what works for you and your relationship. And uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, shirts are still available, so definitely check that out as well. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for listening. I appreciate the continued support in everyday life or whatever you, you want to call it. But uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. So just right off the bat, I just want to be honest with you guys. I don't have any shoes on. But I have socks on. I don't either. Um, so I just didn't feel like putting shoes on for this because, you know, it's not a random person that I just met. Um, We're very well acquainted, I would yeah, say. Yeah, we know each other pretty well. <laughs> um, so, yeah, me and Mallory Hobbs, Valerie Bobs. Valerie Bobs. Are engaged. Um, I know I said that on the solo episode last week, but... Uh, Yippee! Um... But yeah, we're engaged. To be betrothed. What does that mean? Married. Betrothed. Oh. Betrothed? Mm-hmm. I was actually told to say something that sounded better. What? Instead um, of we're engaged? Oh, that's what Kevin said. Betrothed? Yeah, KO Media. Shout out KO Media. Um, <laughs> that's what he said. He said, say that. I was like, what does that mean? But yeah, we are engaged. Um, I know I said it on the last week's solo episode. I briefly talked about it, but I knew we were going to film this episode, so I wanted to talk more about it here. Um, this episode was actually supposed to come out last week, and that's kind of why the solo episode wasn't edited as much, and that's why in like the five-minute mark, you can hear the, uh, the outro come on. Um, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know? No. Yeah, I didn't know that I accidentally put that in. I don't know how it got in, but um, I was listening to it, and then after it had already been posted and then the outro came, I was like, oh, frick, did I fast forward? But it was like five minutes in. So I'm sorry about that. Um, did you go fix it? Yeah. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Because if I did, I'd have to delete everything and then re-upload it. Yeah. But I just gonna, I'm just i going to leave it out there for uh, future me to be like, well, this is what happens when you are lazy at the beginning of the week and don't want to do anything. But that wasn't our original inten- intention. We were supposed to, like I said, we were supposed to film this last week. And then I was telling Maui this. Maui. <laughs> That's what Poppy says. <laughs> Maui. Hey, no, Maui. He Maui. No, he says Maui. <laughs> but, um, yeah, last week we just didn't. I don't know why. There were so many uh, days where we got home and we were just tired from work. Today and is also one of those days. Every day is that kind of day. Well, I went to the gym today a little bit for the first time in probably like a month and a half. Um, and I also briefly talked about this on the solo episode with like the whole change and job and like being outside and just being uh, exposed to the sun a lot. It just is really draining. Um, so it's been hard to do stuff after work because I know how it feels now. Like we get off work and not want to go do something. Yeah. I don't have that excuse, unfortunately. I work in a beautifully air-conditioned building. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, I come home and I'm just like drained from a long, long day of sitting in silence in a room full of people. So yeah, that would suck. It really does like take a toll on your mental whenever you're like, that's just not the work environment I'm used to at all. Mm-hmm. And everything about it is just like completely different and not necessarily what I want to be doing. But I know that for future me and for future us and for future little me and you, it's where I should be. So I'm sticking Our little baby it out. midgets. Them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is, uh, I don't, I don't even know how to get into this as far as like, 
we just want to like do like a relationship episode where we talk about like um do you want me to take it? oh yeah, yeah you can take it away i guess yeah okay just i don't know it comes natural to me mm -hmm. we <laughs> well now i'm nervous <laughs> We just thought that it would be a fun idea if we, like, sat down and let all of the listeners in on a little piece of our life. Uh. And that was sexy. And shared, you know, the intimate and personal details of our relationship. Not not too intimate, not, though. Yeah, it was, that was a joke. Um, so, yeah, we are engaged. Uh, I proposed to her. June 22nd. I wasn't going to say the date, but, oh. um, yeah, I proposed it on June 22nd, 2024 at the beach. I know it was kind of cliche. It was but, perfect. Yeah, it was perfect, except Mallory was wearing sunglasses, um, <laughs> which that sucked. So you agree, or are you saying that because I said that? I mean, yeah, I guess it was perfect. Yeah, it was cute. I didn't like that all the people were there. Like all the random people? Yeah, because, like, it was, what, Tybee Island mm -hmm. or whatever, so I didn't expect a lot of people to be there. But when we got there, I was like, oh, fudge. There's like 100,000 people here. Well, Tybee, it wasn't that bad, though. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't like Myrtle Beach or anything. No, but Tybee is like, it's so small. And like, I don't know. I feel like it is always pretty packed. But it wasn't as bad as it could be because the weather like wasn't. Yeah, it was a little um, overcast. Mm -hmm. And it was really windy. Yeah. But, I mean, that doesn't take away from anything, I don't think. Yeah. You know, because we were like it was there was people all around us, except like where we were at. We had a good like. 50 feet. Yeah, they were by these rocks and you're not supposed to be on the rocks. Um, it says that. Yeah, there's a sign that says don't climb on the rocks. Oh, I climbed through the rocks. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I'm sure. It's not to a big get deal. To where we were. But yeah, it was cool. Um, so should I just say how. uh how was like the story of how I was gonna propose and stuff? Yes, I would like to hear it. Um, so a few months ago, <laughs> I feel like you know this. Well, it's always nice to hear again. <laughs> uh, okay, so a few months ago, um, I probably would say back in March or April, I visited my grandma's. March, guys. Okay, just listen. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to briefly mention that I am a big simp for this boy, and it makes me just happy I'm not and a boy excited. Man. And when I hear him talking about me and, like, wanting to marry me, I get so excited. Continue. So about March or April, I went to my grandma's house, and I don't even know. I was just visiting. And then she brought up, like, her rings or whatever, because um, who doesn't love looking at their old grandma's, grandparents' um, jewelry? <sighs> so she pulled those out, and there was one on there that I thought Mallory would like a lot. It was rubies. With um, diamonds, I'll, I'll put it up on a thing, and I'll actually do it. I know on the solo episode I said I was going to show uh, show the hate comments or whatever, but I never did. I'm sorry. Don't, that's good, though. <laughs> Don't give them attention. You can give I was going to blur their username out. but oh, okay. Yeah, and so I figured she would really like it. Um, so I asked my grandma if I could have it or something like that. I said, I'll be back in a couple months, but I originally was only going to give it to her for a promise ring for your birthday. Okay. So when I went to go pick it up, I was going to go get, like, I was going to go get it fitted and clean and all that kind of stuff. I brought it to your mom at the salon. I was like, like, do you think Mallory would like this? And she was like, oh, my gosh. And, she, and like, she assumed that I was going to propose, but I was going into it as, like, do you think she would like this as a promise ring? Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. My okay. intentions were to, to do a promise ring. But then so as, as I thought it, so <laughs> <laughs> you ask questions when I'm in the middle of something. This is a podcast. We're supposed to talk. I know. Also, <laughs> she asks questions when I've never seen a movie before. What are they doing? I don't know. If you would listen, you would understand. <laughs> I just think that you have all the answers and like <laughs> I turn to you for everything. I have a majority of them, but not all of them. Hmm. All right. So I went to your mom. I took it to your mom. I was like, do you think she would like this? She started like tearing up and like getting excited and then I was like, well, yeah, I was just going to give it to her for like a, like a promise ring. She's like, why would you give it to her for a promise ring? Like, just <laughs> go ahead and propose. Hey. And I think my grandma had already said that as far as like, why would you give her a promise so ring? So everyone was like, <laughs> no, that's a dumb idea. Well, I think they were just like, like, what's the point of it? 
I don't have know. So I actually recently <clears throat> said that if you were to have given me a promise ring, I would have said keep it and just <laughs> give me a engagement ring. Well, also I was really insecure by the fact that it's not like this huge diamond ring <laughs> that like cuz like you go on TikTok, you go on social media like, "Oh, he proposed and like the ring's like $50,000." I'm like, "I don't have even 5 of I don't even have 5,000 of the $50,000." So I didn't think that you would like it for like an actual engagement ring. No, I think it's perfect. I love well, it so much. I mean, much. I know that in hindsight, but like I know. before I didn't. But like you should know that like, I mean, I sent you a ring and it was from Etsy and it was like $100. And I was like. Well, you think I don't pay attention to that crap. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Because I remember you said, oh, that's only $100. I could do that. I could be engaged tomorrow. I said. Oh, I did say that? I don't remember that. Let's get on it. But yeah, so I did take it to your mom, and then um, I was like, well, I mean, if I were to propose, would, would you be okay with that? She's like, yes, of course. Yeah. So then I sat there and talked to her for a little bit. What else did y'all talk about? Um, I think she had brought up the fact that you had, like, baby fever. And I was like, yeah, me too. Like, I really want to have kids. Mm -hmm. She has and, baby um, fever, too. She wants us to have a kid. Yeah. And I do, too, but uh, it's just expensive. Mm -hmm. And we don't have the space for it either. Yeah. But in the video of our engagement, you can hear her in the background say, more babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's really it. And then I kind of explained to her, like, why uh, I um, like got the marry? HVAC. Well, like, I got the HVAC job and all that kind of stuff. That Just so I would you like, like more secure in us getting married well that was like the whole plan like to get the like hvac plate like to get like a job like that mm -hmm. so that would be like step one yeah. of like you know our future or whatever so that's why i did that and then i i, t I told her that and i think she um she was, probably really like respect yeah her. i think she was proud of that mm -hmm. i feel like we both kind of have been doing that Mm -hmm. Like, we both got nine to five or whatever. But, like, we have, like, stable and secure jobs. Mm -hmm. We did that. Now we're on to the next phase. So true. You know? Yeah. Also, I feel like it sounds like I'm sitting here and I'm like, what? I didn't know any of this. <laughs> and there are some things that I don't know. But also, this is a podcast. And for the viewers or the listeners... I've got to ask the questions for you guys. Okay? Yeah. Obviously, yeah, that was it, really. And then no, she told me not to tell anyone. I know you know this, but just for everybody listening, she told me not to tell anyone. I'm going to put my feet back down so you don't see my socks. Um, <laughs> They're cute socks. It's like when you have an interview on Zoom and you only wear, like, a tuxedo <laughs> from the waist up. <laughs> Someone got fired from their job from doing, like, it was a work-from-home Zoom thing. Mm -hmm. And they had a... Danny DeVito poster in the back <laughs> and they were asked to take it down and then instead of taking it down they got a huge portrait of Danny DeVito and put it behind them and they fired him for it. Wow. That's crazy. I know. I'd probably give him a promotion or something. Yeah, I was like, why are you... Like, this is this man's home. What are yeah. you talking about? Anywho. <laughs> that worked actually worked well, the clapping. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, she told me not to tell anyone... For the reasons unknown, I don't know, honestly. Um, do you know why she would want to maybe only be the only person to know? Um, after, <laughs> I think that she mainly meant, because she didn't want certain people to know. Because certain people would have come, like, maybe spoiled it or, like. Yeah, I guess she did kind of say that. But I don't think it was everyone. Like, you probably could have told my sisters, and it probably would have been okay. No. Like, she did told she, me not to. Specifically? Yeah. Then I don't know. Probably. Cause cause I had the picture of the ring, and I was going to send it to Maddie and Morgan mm -hmm. on the Friday and be like, look out. Or like, just write something, be like, look out for tomorrow. Uh-huh. And she said no? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. I don't know why she would. But, but then, like, a couple hours before, she told Maddie mm -hmm. and Sam. Yeah. And then 30 minutes before, we told Morgan. Yeah. Because even, 
I don't remember if you were part of this conversation or not, but like Maddie or Sam was like, we were together that whole morning. Like we went, y'all went to his job site yeah. and stuff. And you didn't mention it at all, but you were like <laughs> asking questions about their engagement. Yeah, because I was like nervous. Yeah, but he like still, you didn't say it at all that like today. I was the day. told not to tell anyone. I was told by the head honcho herself. <laughs> I know. To not say anything. And that and shows didn't. that you, you're a good one. Yeah, I guess so. You listened. But yeah, I was just trying to like feel things out, see how he did it, um, maybe take some notes from him, you know. He he did his like no one was there. No, he said he did it on the canal. Yeah, and then everybody was watching or somebody was filming. Well, but like fam, like it was private. Like they Maddie didn't know someone was filming and stuff. Oh, you know, yeah. and then we they had an, a party like directly after. Yeah, sorry, I I said that in the car. <laughs> I don't have anybody waiting back at the thing. Well, it's okay yeah. because <laughs> all the people. Except I do kind of wish that we could have, like, celebrated it a bit more after. Yeah, it was, it was kind of rushed. Thank you guys for that. Um, M- Morgan, Maddie, Sam, and Angel. I appreciate that. Rushing it? Well, like, we had... Well, Murph was tired. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Murph. Thank you for... But let me put on a list. <laughs> yeah, we... Well, I guess y'all went shopping. So y'all got to. But I would have been, f- no, I would have been fine doing anything else. Like, I didn't need to go shopping. I wanted to be with you. And then, like, things got. Things got heated for a second, yeah. But not with us. We're, like, nothing with us. Yeah. I wouldn't say heated. It was just, like, like the circum. It was hot outside. I think people were just hungry. Um, people said some racial slurs they probably shouldn't have. No. And, uh, none of my family did that. They didn't? No. Uh, might have been you. Must have been, yeah, must have been some other people I were with. <laughs> Murphy said it. <laughs> she can't even speak. She can't talk. Don't worry. Um, so, yeah, that was the story of how we got engaged. And, yeah. How do you feel about it? I feel pretty good. I did tear up a little bit. He did. He did. And why do you, you, uh, you keep telling everybody that I didn't even ask you? Well, like... Because it, yeah, it took, took you me a, a second. second. I know. It took me a second to say yes. Oh. Uh, no, I don't Well, exactly. I feel like, like the whole on the knee thing and then like with the ring out, you kind of get the gist of it. Oh, I did. That's why it took you a second. Because uh, like I immediately started crying and mm. I was like, no way. OMG. What the F? <laughs> and like, I think I just jumped on you as soon as I could. Yeah. That's what I wanted to. <laughs> Yes, I kind of feel bad because I didn't say anything, like, sentimental or anything. When Sam told me, like, his little story, he was like, yeah, you know, like, said a few words or whatever. But I was like, I didn't even say anything. I was just so nervous. Well, you can always redo. Just do it one more time. Yeah, we'll do it later. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't say anything. I was really nervous. I think I finally did uh, cough up, will you marry me? But, um, and then she said yes, obviously. Yeah. Well, you had to ask. You were like, is that a yes? Yeah, that's another thing. You didn't answer, really. Well, I, it was a yes. Mm. I answered by, like, squeezing your head. Yeah, I thought my head was about to pop <laughs> off. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Really? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Psych. I was so excited. Um, yeah, what, do you, what, do you, what else do you want to talk about? Like, this is the relationship episode. Well, do you want to talk about, like, how we met? Should we tell them, like, the sto- like everything? Not that y'all care. Uh, not really. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm trying to find um, the questions. So we did ask some people questions to, you know, give us so we, so we could answer. Okay. So we met at Your Pie. Yeah. 2022. Like, April... Or May. I think it's April. But we didn't start talking until like two or three weeks after he started working there. Because he did not talk to me. Uh, there's, you're also missing out on something. <laughs> that is not why. Why didn't you talk to me? I was... Baby. Yeah. I was nervous of your... <laughs> Your beauty. 
Why the long pause? I was trying to think of something more romantical, but I couldn't think of it. I think that's so romantic. But I also have a really, really hard time <laughs> believing it. Because <laughs> you are like that is the most true. attractive human being I've ever seen. Okay, no. Um, yeah, I, I was just really nervous. Me. I was really nervous to talk to you. I thought you hated you're so pretty. me. Like, literally, I was like, why isn't he... Like, he's talking to everybody. I can hear everyone giggling because of this man. <laughs> and I'm like not in it like i was so excluded for those first couple weeks maybe that was my little plan like maybe it was i didn't care don't worry uh-huh i did it <laughs> sure you didn't I, at the time i didn't until i did i did get a little excited when we took that break yeah like just like the little like oh this is like new or like nerves you know mm -hmm. but it wasn't anything at that point yeah, we were just work friends. That didn't last very long. Though. Why? Because you slid into the DMs. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as we'll go with that. <laughs> That's funny. There, yeah. Does yeah. <laughs> well, in that one there. But anywho, we had a little hangout. With my stepsister and then his roommate. Yeah. And the rest is history. Shout out, Brindley. Too bad it didn't work out with Sean. It was never even a thing with Sean. She would actually be so offended. No offense to Sean. Oh, no yeah. No hate. But she would be offended, and I had to clear the air. You could have been She'd with She never the, liked him. You could have been with the ex-podcaster. I'm just saying. An ex-guest of 20 episodes podcaster. Huh? He was like a guest. For the first couple yeah i guess so um but enough of that but yeah we met i was really nervous to talk to you at first i just thought you were really pretty what gave you like what made you decide to be like today's today i'm talking to her i feel like i did talk to you like here and there did i just ask you to go on break together that one time out of nowhere yeah oh uh, really i was at <laughs> huh, i don't remember that the fact that i could remember lit like I, well, so I remember asking details. you, but I don't remember not like completely not talking to you before that. I I don't really remember us talking very much. I feel like it was more so like Brinley. I was like probably with Brinley. I know how, for a fact this is probably what happened. Like I would be talking with Brinley or like standing with Brinley and you would be like jokingly being mean to her, talking to mm -hmm. her. So, like, I was around, but I don't think the conversation was ever, like, us. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, but I was, like, this was at work, obviously, so I was standing at the register. He was walking back to behind the thing. And he's, like, literally doesn't even stop in his tracks. Says, Wait, really? do you want to take a break together? And then I'm just, like, uh, okay. I thought we were walking in front of the bar, passing each other. I thought that's when I asked you. I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, like I don't you remember. were going, you were already on break. No, I was like, you might have been walking outside, and I was walking like towards going into the back room. Oh well, either I way, didn't stop in his tracks to ask. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> Had a panini that day. Did not get eaten. Why you nervous eat in front of me? Mm -hmm. I remember that. I remember in high school when. That's what it felt like. Yeah. When I was with, like, my first ever girlfriend in high school, like, it was hard to eat in front of her. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like, like that's how fudge? it always goes. It was a donut, too, bro. Really? Yeah, it was like, um, like a donut. It was the, like, the one. Like the I, donut sticks? No, it was an actual donut. Oh. Because for whatever reason, we were with Weezen. <laughs> we were with Burke and Anna. Oh, oh! Yeah. I think I, was you Were y'all at the movies? No. Oh. We. I think it might have been for Halloween, and then for some reason we went to Krispy Kreme. Did you get a festive donut? No, it was the one. With the pink. The pink one with sprinkles. Mm, your favorite. Yeah. And, uh, I was like, what the fudge? Why am I nervous eating in front of this girl? That's just, I've always been like that, too. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about this, too. Like, 
I sometimes think on my past relationships, especially with the ones, the old ones, and I'm like, that was not me back then. Like it was, but like it's not. Yeah. How crazy You've is that? You've grown and changed. Me too. There, mm. like, when I went to lunch with a friend who knew me when I was like a different person. So like that whole time I was like, wow, like I didn't even remember some of the things that she was talking about until like she jogged my memory. But I was like, I like that does not even sound remotely like the person that I am today, Mm -hmm. you know, but I've also only had one other like relationship. Yeah, me too. Hmm. Me too. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just kidding. It's okay that you haven't. Yeah. You're older than me. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Got a little bit more experience. No. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Like, like the one that was a year and, like, six months, I always think of, like, bro, I was, like, we were together for, like, a year and six months. That's insane. What do you mean? Like. Like, you spent so much time with that person? Well, yeah, like, we had been dating for that long, and I, like. Not that I barely remember it, but it was like so many so many events happened probably while we were together, but it like like in my life, but I don't remember the fact that I was in the relationship at that time. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's because like you're in this one now, and you're like none of those compare? Yeah, probably. I really? Mean, none of them compare. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, no, I'm just cu- <laughs> like I just am curious, like. You know? Mm-hmm. I guess. I don't know. Mm. But, like, yeah, this, like, <laughs> it was just crazy to think. I was a, I was in a completely different relationship for a year, like, six months. Mm-hmm. Like, that just blows my mind. That it's crazy to think, too. I don't like to think about it. <laughs> well, just, like, we have been together for, like, almost two years, like, officially now. Well, not almost. Like, a year and a half. But, like, I feel like I've, like, we've been together forever. Me too. So that's what I'm saying. Like, to, to like, back in high school, I was in, like, a relationship like that. Like, that's crazy to think about. Yeah. That we've been together. We've been living together for, like, a year. And we're engaged now. Like, we're going to get married. That's what I mean by, like, that just yeah. seems like a crazy thing. Seems like a whole life ago. Like, that never even, like, I feel like that too. Like, I, it really does in a good way. I swear this is not bad but like it does feel like i've been with you for like 50 years yeah but also it feels like i just met you Mm -hmm. you know i just feel like we're so close and so like in tune that it's just easy to like yeah live you know i'm not thinking about it i'm just living and it's nice Mm -hmm. you're like the only person that like does that for me like it's just like calm Really? And like at peace. Yeah, if yeah, I can say the same. Mm-hmm. I can say that I've been at work some days, and I'm, I'll be like, "Can't wait to get home Me with too. you." And not like, not even some days, like majority of the days. Yeah. Me too. <sighs> like, especially because you're like doing stuff. Like you're mm. using your brain and your <laughs> hands. Well, I hope so. My but brain. But you're not, not clearly, because really. you be getting hurt. <laughs> I don't be getting hurt. It's just. You literally burnt yourself yesterday. Allegedly. Factually. Allegedly. (laughs) Oh, wait. Could you get in trouble? So much trouble. I can get fired. I got to tell you. I forgot. I got to tell tell you what I did today. I can't say it on here, though. Okay. It's not the bad. I'll remind you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, But for me, I'm just like kind of not doing a whole lot Mm -hmm. so really and truly all day i'm just thinking about god i can't wait to go i can't wait to get home yeah i'm gonna be with brandon my cats like yeah i another thing another thing that i want to bring up is um like what what i mean i'll ask you first what's like the scariest thing like, what's this, the thing that you're most scared of, like, in a long-term relationship? 
Like, what are you most scared of happening with us? Uh, like, besides breaking up, because that's not going to happen. Um, probably, like, that, like, we fall out of, like, love with each other or, like, stop doing things that, like, keep, like, st we stop dating each other and, like, don't put effort in. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of, like, a loveless relationship. Like, that's really, really scary. Yeah. And I hope that I could cry thinking about it. But... Well, that's the same thing I was going to say. Oh, really? Yeah, like, getting old and, like, I don't know, just... Like, loving, like, I don't know, just... I haven't had a whole lot of, like, examples of mm. a healthy, long-lasting, like, marriage. Like, I actually yeah. don't really know if there are any. Well, I mean, like, there are, but I just... There's some toxicity up in that. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. I don't... I choose not to think about it though mm -hmm. a whole lot because I think it makes me more like sad and <clears throat> anxious for like no reason because like that's not our reality right now yeah and if I think about it like I will go into a spiral and then <sighs> you will know everyone will know <clears throat> well that's one of my biggest things too I don't want to like get really old and then like just like give up yeah trying well, I or like, get too comfortable. Yeah. I look forward to like getting old with you. Like I'm excited mm -hmm. to grow old, <clears throat> which is like Egg. crazy because no one says that I feel, but mm -hmm. I really am like, I don't care. It's just going to be like, I can't wait to see like you start to shrink and get all wrinkly and gray. No, well, that's not going to happen to me, bro. I can wait, obviously, <laughs> but like I'm, Jeez. I'm very excited to be two little wrinkly gray people with you. Mm -hmm. You know, because it like that is a lot of people's reality, like yeah. growing old with your person. And I truly believe that you're my person. So I just thank you. I appreciate that one. Yeah, of course, bro. Respect on it. But yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Um, I definitely don't want that to happen. Do you think that it will? No, I don't. I don't think it will happen at all. I think um, you and I are very similar in the fact that. We can't just, like, do the same thing every day and, like, be okay with it. Like, we have to do something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because so. that's how I've, like, recently, both of us, or not both of us, but, like, me, I have felt so just, like, kind of in a hole and, like, lazy and, like, I come home, don't do much. I literally we, do that, too. But you... Don't like you do more things than that. I promise. And you're doing more things during your day. Well, I feel like you do more that. things too when you get off work, and I feel like I'm the lazy one. No. <laughs> well, I, that's, I mean, that's how I feel. Well, then we're both feeling like this at the same time. Well, at least we're not both lazy because exactly. we think that the other person is not lazy, but we think we are lazy. Well, yeah, I think that that's probably how it will always be. But I do feel like recently I have been like we've been eating out like I could be cooking and stuff. And like I have just but that's been like kind of my every day after work for like a week, mm. maybe even longer. It's only a week. Huh? It's only been a I week. I said maybe even longer. Uh. But just last night I was telling you like I don't like something is wrong. Like I don't feel like I don't know. I'm not feeling my best mm -hmm. and I think it's because of that like I just have not been like doing things yeah or like I don't know I just felt really tired yeah that's that's how I felt at the tail end of Lowe's like I just wasn't maybe satisfied after work and I'm not saying that's how work is for you it probably is I mean but we can talk about that later but like for Lowe's it just wasn't fulfilling I guess so when I got home I Ironic. was like I know I was a fulfillment associate, <laughs> but when I, it was not fulfilling to me. Mm -hmm. Well, it would never be fulfilling to you. Because mm -hmm. you. Did you hear that? Yeah. Was, was that Sparky? Is it the. There's a dog. Anyways, <laughs> um, you are 
so much better than Lowe's. And this is no hate to anybody <laughs> that works. Dang. No, this is no hate to anybody that works Shout at Lowe's. Shout out CJ out there, boy. Anybody who Christian has, Joyner. Anybody who has a job and is working is doing better than a lot of people, okay? Than bums. Say, like, th- the fact that you job. have a job is a good thing. But Brandon Rhodes is... Like, he's better than Lowe's, so I'm sorry. And he knows it. I'm not better than Lowe's. I just have more ambition than working at Lowe's for the rest of my life. That's what she's trying to say. Thank you. That is what I was trying and to say. And it is okay It is okay to have ambition just for Lowe's. That's perfectly okay. Exactly. But I agree. I just, if that's what you want and you're there, you got what you want. Good job. I'm not going to make fun of you for it. I might a little bit, but I'm not going to. Um, not on the pod. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to ask you that question just because, so we're on the same page with that. I think that was a good question. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we'll both, we already, even though we have only been together for a year and a half, but like. Why do you say it like that? Because that really is not a long time in like I know. the grand scheme of things. Like I said, I feel like we've been together forever, bro. I know. But it's also weird, like we did have like that four months that we weren't together. And four months is also boy not. Was, uh, in the trenches, dog. Uh, hacha, hacha. What's that? That was me with like a pickaxe in the mine. He wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the trenches, and you can ask the people. You were in the streets. Is what you were doing. You were in the streets. He's literally talking about himself right now. <laughs> no, I'm not, bro. He was in the streets. S- the streets. Doing disgusting things with disgusting the people. Not all of them were disgusting. Brad wasn't that bad. Who's Brad? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, like, I don't know. That feels like that felt like an eternity mm-hmm. compared to like what this feels like. The best eternity I ever had. You? Ask me to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's why I can say these things. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Why not? Because I, I, mean, I don't like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry that our lip, are, lip, lip. Okay, stop that. Hey guys. People are gonna get turned on. No, this is. Stop! My, stop! 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 This is my ASMR. She is muted. Okay, don't you turn cannot my... hear her. No, you can hear me. No, you cannot. Uh, turn it back on. <laughs> Please. Hi, thank you. Stop. Okay, sorry. Okay, for real. Okay, I'm done. Um. Stop it. <laughs> Another question I want to ask you real quick um, is, are there girls that you talk to that are in committed relationships where they talk about other guys? Like, they'll see, like, a, a handsome-looking guy and be like, oh, I would do things to that guy. Or I would, like, they just talk as if they are um, single. Honestly, No. Not, like, in my circle who do that. Because all of, like, that's just not the way that, like, we think. Who is we? You're speaking for all women right now? No, no, no. Okay. I said my circle. Oh, okay, okay. Like, I could, like, name them. But I don't know if that's, like. I definitely feel like Maddie is not that type of person. Yeah. Maddie does not do that. Savannah doesn't do that. I don't know who does. Well, I was going to say that. Well, I wasn't going to say her name, but we're thinking of the same person. You're definitely not thinking I'm thinking of. But. Oh, tell me. I'm glad to, um, I'm glad to hear that. Do your, are people like in your circle, do they talk about women? Well, just in the, like, like objectify women? Well, just in the past, like, especially when I worked, um, for the city, like all the dudes there were like. Married, had kids, and they would always, like, there would be some attractive girl, and they'd be like, mm, look at that. Like, they would all, mm. like, <laughs> and they would tell me to look, and I'm just like, bro, I, like, I don't really care. Yeah. And at the time, I was in relationships, so I was like, I don't really care like that, bro. Like, and then they, they would say, well, do you think your girlfriend's doing that? Do you think they're looking at other guys? And I'm like, no. No, <laughs> no. no because, like, I don't know. That just stuff. Uh, that stuff is just goofy to like. 
mm-hmm. talk about other women like that. I think if it's like a celebrity. I don't even think if it's, I don't know. Well, I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, obviously you probably will see somebody in a movie or something and be like, they're an attractive person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Either. Well, I know you have. Hunter Schaefer, everybody. Hunter Schaefer. Wait. <laughs> Hunter Schaefer. That was good. Hunter Schaefer, everybody. Love that woman. But as for, like, day-to-day, like, regular people that you potentially could see, like, multiple times, I just... I am... I've never... I don't do that. I don't, like, I don't look at anybody and think, like, oh, they're so attractive. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I guess in my head, like, I think that you're so attractive. No one Thank looks you. like I you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know? Yeah, no one looks this fugly. I'll be honest with you. Stop <laughs> it. But, yeah, I've known people where they, like, they've been in relationships, and this is a while ago. But they, were, they were like, I got to have sex with a Asian before I die. And I'm like, what the fuck? I used to have a list, but I don't anymore. You've probably checked them all off. Nah, there are a few. Okay. Ew. Uh, <laughs> y'all, that was nasty. But yeah, I just, I don't get it. Like, why do, Why are guys like that? If you're a guy like that, can Cause you... Because guys are horn dogs. What do you mean? I mean, yeah, but like they can like, they can keep it under wraps, mm. you know? Cause I'm like I'm able, you can. I, I'm so, what do you you're, mean? Well, because you are a horn dog. I am not a horn dog. What For even me. is that? <laughs> well, duh. Duh. But it's like, come on, guys. Like, let's do better. Yeah. All right. I do agree. Like, I think that it's kind of gross how men just like think it's so okay to, like, sexualize and objectify women, even if it's like it's just my guy friends. Locker room talk is stupid, and I don't like it. But I'm a I'm a girl, so well, that, I think locker why. room talk is okay because it's a private conversation. I don't think people should get in. Well, if they're talking about like killing someone or like setting up a murder or something, that's when they should get in trouble. But like private conversations are private conversations. No, but I'm saying like, like you just said, like your words. If you're in a relationship, why are you talking about other women? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's what I just said. Well, I don't know. But yeah, I don't mean, if you're a guy out there, I would just not recommend doing that because that it's probably not good for you. It doesn't look good for you, too. I feel like it also, regardless of how confident you are as a woman, it kind of can lead to, like, some amount of, like, insecurity. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Do you have any, any questions real quick before we actually get to the questions? Um... I don't know if this is a question in the thing or if you think it's a good one or not, but what was like the the moment you were like, I want to marry her or like, I'm going to ask her to marry me? I don't know. I really oh. don't know. Okay. I think it was just like an overtime thing where like you treated me better than anybody that I've ever met other than my, you know, my parents or whatever, my grandparents. Um, and yeah, you did a lot of stuff for me and I love you a lot. So why would I not, you know? Yeah. And I would, I, I could see myself doing almost anything for you besides giving you like back rubs late at night. <laughs> That's, I don't know why you do it late <laughs> at night. Like you could do it when you first get home. That would be a good you thing. You would not give but me one. Yeah, I would. I would. Okay, because after I'm, this, will you give me a back rub? No, because it's going to be late. It's going to be like, it's, it's 830. Already? Yes. I go to stuff. No, you don't. You can go to my row. Uh, okay. We'll talk. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, that's, I mean. Well, I love you. I love you. Ugh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these are uh, just two real quick. Um, this is from Steven Sanders. I don't know who this is. He just I just have him on Snapchat. Um, and he put a question in? Mm-hmm. Oh. Nice. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, I appreciate it because not a lot of people do these. Whenever I ask, like, can you send me questions? They don't do it. All right, so the first one is feelings on what well, would be like, like, what are your feelings on if I had a girl best friend? 
<laughs> you wouldn't like it. Yeah. I could already tell. I wouldn't like it. Okay. And I'm sorry. Like, I just don't. And like vice versa, I, I don't think I wouldn't want you. I don't know. It would just, it would just feel weird for you to have like a guy best friend. Yeah, I just really. I don't know, because obviously I understand that that makes me sound insecure mm -hmm. and like the level of trust sound like it sounds like it's not there because I am secure mm -hmm. and I do trust you. Yeah. However, I would not like that, mm -hmm. you know, like you so are you saying you didn't like it when Natasha came and stayed with us. I definitely had my like guard up a little at first mm -hmm. just because I did not know her. Yeah. Like I had never met her at all. And all I knew about her was that you knew her from New Mexico. Yeah. And like she was your <laughs> best. That's not a good thing. Yeah, I know. If I know you from New Mexico. Whew. I know. No, I'm just kidding. There are some like if there, if it would have been a different name, I'd been like, Fuck, no. How what dare you, you get out? What do you mean a different name? Well, like if it was someone else. Uh, uh, but I don't know. I don't even want to know. Anywho, Natasha. I'll list them off if you want me to. I don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, there were also a lot of things, like, obviously, that, like, helped ease my mind. Yeah. You just do that. Like, yeah. you make me yeah. feel, like, fine. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. But I will say, like, because I had to work that whole time. That she was here and you did not. Like y'all oh, yeah. both were like here. So like the first uh, we day. Were, I don't think we were here. The we first went, we went and like did stuff. I know, but still. <clears throat> the first day or so I was like Well that thing there was What's going two days. on? Like I'm scared. Yeah. yeah, it was okay. So maybe it was the whole time. I was just like <gasps> <clears throat> I know, I'm sorry. The fear of the unknown, kind yeah. of. And like looking back, like I don't think I, would, I don't think I would let not let you do that, but I wouldn't be. You wouldn't be excited about yeah. it. And I think that that shows a lot for me because mm -hmm. I am someone that's like, I just have anxiety. Okay. Mm. Like I freak out for even if it's not warranted. And I held my composure so good during that. There were a couple times probably where you were like, girl. Well, because I just, I just knew Natasha and I knew yeah. like we were only strictly friends and we never. Yeah. Did any type of thing. Well, I know. And I know you and like one, you would never do that to me. You would never bring someone in this house. Had anything. <laughs> what? Nothing. I Yeah. But yeah, I would never do what? that. What? Why did you laugh? I just thought that was funny. Like, Why? would you actually think I would bring somebody here? Who'd you bring here? Natasha? No, I'm just saying. It's See, funny that This you... is my brain. Oh my gosh. It's like starting to turn and turn. But... I Finally, it starts working. No, Jeez, I'm it. saying <laughs> that I know that you wouldn't. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, that's a crazy, like, yeah, I would never do that. But I'm not going to, like, lie and say that Yeah. my brain wasn't, like, going a mile a minute the whole time. Yeah, that was a good answer. Thank you. All right. Um. <laughs> but also, I really liked Natasha. Yeah, Nat Natasha's like we, cool. We, like. I would say became friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, this is another one. This is, thank you, Stephen, for these these questions. I appreciate it. But I already know, like, I already know what you're going to say for this one. <laughs> <It> says, <laughs> um, thoughts on being friends with exes. No. <laughs> What's the purpose? There's yeah. absolutely no need. Yeah, I don't mean, same here. Yeah. I have thought about... Now, th this was... Um, Getting an ex on the pod? <laughs> no. Yes. No. Because when I was growing up, when I, no, I was growing up, I guess I'm always growing up, but like, I would say in high school or like early after high school, I would watch those cut videos where those people, where those like exes would play like truth or drink or whatever. <laughs> No. And do I you always, know what those questions are always about? Well, do you still fa have feelings for I each other? I wouldn't do, you do that. Do remember when you first kissed? I wouldn't ask those. I wouldn't ask those questions. No. But it, I, I just thought it would be interesting to like, I don't just have them on. And have you thought this while we've been here? What like do you, mean? you wanted to get like one of your exes on, like while we've lived together? Well, it was more of like a. 
like an I I I, <laughs> I know you would never be okay with it ever, especially like inviting them because we do it out of the house, I, especially them coming to the house. I no, I just it was always just like an interesting topic that so I you have, have always. Though. I mean, I have thought about it, yeah, but I While always... While we lived here. Yeah. When? I don't, I don't know. What do you mean? I just like to know details. <laughs> well, I just... I'm not crazy, y'all, I swear. It would just, like, especially, like, the, like, um, like, the one from high school, like, the long one. Like, imagine... Your longest one? <laughs> no! Well, from the longest time ago, because, like, then I was in high... Well, there was a six... One before that, I was six months, I was a sophomore. How many girlfriends have you had? I'm Only just four. I know. I know. Jeez, it painted me out to be like a whore. <laughs> no. But um, I, ju- I know that answer. I just wanted them to know. But yeah, I just thought it would be like an interesting topic to be like, so like what happened? I think it would also be good for like people to listen to it, like how they're listening with this, like like relationships, like what not to do, like what happened with this relationship, like what did each other do? For it to break off. I, and how can people prevent I the breakup? I don't up? think that I am honestly in the wrong for not wanting you I to know. rehash the details <laughs> of your relationship with someone else. I, you had the time to do that, you know? What do you mean I had the time to do that? In high school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never saying that I would ever do this, but I always thought it was an interesting topic. Okay, I understand. Topic. Yeah. I mean, maybe sometime in the future. Yeah, with their ma- other exes. Yeah, maybe sometime you. in the future we could do we could set something up like that. Um, oh, okay. I have a fabulous <laughs> idea. So you know how you want me to do a takeover episode? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my ex to come sit on this chair. That would be. I would. I wouldn't mind. That would be interesting. What? That would be. I. I think really? that would be interesting. Really? Yeah. Okay. No. I mean, you're not. You would that never would do ne- it. No. But I, I think it never. would be interesting. Okay, well, if you really want to do that, you can. <laughs> I'm not saying that I would really do it. I'm just saying it would be an interesting topic. What was the question? Can, uh, like, your thoughts on being friends with exes? Okay. What is your <laughs> answer? No. Why would <laughs> are we have the same questions? All right, don't you have a couple questions? Those are all? That's it? Well, no, I have more, but, like, I don't want to be asking the questions all the time. But yeah, I feel like, I feel like that would be interesting thing maybe like an ex to you know come on i don't well it's not your podcast so i'm just kidding like i, I said don't, i don't know i just don't really i don't know like ooh, why, what's how the about purpose? we do a takeover but with one of like you and then one of my exes hell no <laughs> i don't i thought that's what you were gonna say at first no because I, that was that was another thing that I don't know if it was the cut or if it was somebody else. They did that. They did the 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 two ex the ex girlfriend and the current girlfriend, and the ex girlfriend was in a wheelchair. If you guys remember that, y'all are some OGs. I just don't like. I'm personally and not interested in that, in any by any means. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, we can work um, on it. We can work on it. I don't. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you actually want to do that? No, I don't want to do that. I just, I thought about it and I thought it would be an interesting, like an interesting video. Okay. So here are my questions. These are all from my sister. Okay. Um, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> well, cause she gave me six questions. Okay. Shout out. Do we want kids? Uh, and if no. so, how many? No. We do. No kids. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, I want kids. I used to, when I was younger, I was like, ah, oh, I'll never have kids. I don't want kids. Me too. But then I remember, I got to tell my mom she was right. But she said, you're going you're gonna to change your mind one day. And I was like, Psh, no, I'm not. Because of why? Just like you're going to change your mind? Because she was like that too, I think. I think when she was younger, she didn't want kids. Yeah, I didn't want kids. I thought... I always thought I was going to be a really bad mom, and it scared me. That's probably what my mom thought, too. Maybe. She's not, though. And I don't feel like I will be now. No, yeah, you'll be the best mom ever. You'll be better than Maddie. (laughs) Probably not. If anything, I'll be equivalent to 
you'll be above. No, Maddie's right, such a good mom. All right, yeah, so we will probably want like five or six kids. So I really got to be three or four. I really um, five five or six. Depending on how I gotta much have money a, we, we got to have. have a whole like softball league. Whole Depending softball team. Depending on how much money we have. Oh, we're going to have a lot of money. This we, podcast right. is going to blow up one day, whether it be two years, three years, four years, five years. Um, it's going to blow up one day. I also thought it was really interesting that Sean said it would be about five years. Because I also thought that, too. That it would be five years until... Sean Brooks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right, next question. Do we fight? Um, not really. I don't think I've ever raised my voice at you. And I, don't, I don't really don't know if I ever will. Yeah. The only times, and there's not many, is when I don't remember it the next day. Oh, yeah. That's a problem. It is. <laughs> but no, I don't think we really fight. I think we might have arguments, but I don't I don't think we fight. Neither of us are like, I don't want to fight with you. Yeah, I don't want to fight either. So Fighting's I, not fun. People who, like, want to fight and, like, are toxic like that, what the fudge, bro? Go get a job. Yeah. it makes Just me, put the fries in the bag, bro. It makes me, like, more really sad to feel, like, any sort of way like that mm -hmm. towards you. So I feel like, if anything, we both shut down and it's a problem yeah like that's more so our issue except we don't all of our like disagreements Tiffs. are like so in, 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 insignificant yeah like i don't know i feel like we don't really argue that much we don't really like we get annoyed with each other mm -hmm. and neither one of us are like i'm annoyed with you like we're gonna walk away we just keep Annoying each other. Yeah. I, I've seen a lot of times, like, don't go to sleep upset or, like, don't let your partner go to sleep upset. But I feel like that, I don't know, I feel like it kind of works for us. I don't know if you feel the same way. I think it's because, like, whatever is happening, like, it's not important. Or, yeah. like, it's not anything. I'm trying to think of an example to, like, tell people, like, this is how silly they are mm -hmm. but i like literally can't think of anything can you no not really but yeah no we don't really argue we don't really fight i mean we might have like we might have a couple arguments here and there but i don't i don't know like we don't really have fights like that mm -hmm. well i'll share that i feel like the majority of our things come from like he doesn't drink he's sober always has been always sober. will be sober for life for life. And I am not. And not one bit. I'm not an alcoholic. I just <laughs> like partake in, you know, some drinks sometimes. When she gets around certain people, they kind of make her. They, Shout out. They make her think that drinking is okay. Um, it is not solely on them, though. But would you do it if you were with me? Would you get as bad if you were with me? No, no, you wouldn't because you're around me. No, because you're sober. And because normally you probably wouldn't do that. But when you get around certain people and you see the other people doing that, you're going to be like, oh, well, since they're doing it, it's okay. Sometimes, yes. But sometimes I very Ooh. much am the ringleader. And I'm like, here's a shot. But still, you... All right, let's um, go to the next question. But see, like, that <laughs> is the main thing because he doesn't like it. I don't like it because I... I don't he doesn't like it. Like it. <laughs> I don't like to see like that. And yeah. No, I get it. I think you don't act like that when it is just us. And like, I don't get too crazy. It's okay. And I just don't want to be mean to you because I don't, I don't know. I don't want you to be mean to me. I'm just I'm, a baby. But I'm not being, I guess I'm not really being mean to you. I'm just like telling you how I feel and like the truth. And I just don't want you to get upset with me about that. <clears throat> okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have had this conversation. Next question. <laughs> okay, this kind of ties into the last one, though. How do you resolve arguments or overcome challenges in your relationship? Makeup sex. Dirty, nasty makeup sex. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a virgin. Um, I usually just don't talk for a little bit. I read this book one time, and it said... Uh, if you were to get a cup of, like, if you were to get a cup, a physical cup, 
and go down in, into like a pond and dig up the dirt and stuff or like just into the water how would you get all the bacteria and stuff out and then it said to like usually like your first thing is to like oh like boil it out strain it whatever but like usually what you want to do is just you let the cup sit there and all fall to the bottom that's mm-hmm. kind of how I think of it now yeah. like <sighs> instead of getting all mad or angry I just I feel like we both just do that and we come back to it later mm-hmm. I think so too I was going to say communication. Like, I feel like we do just, like, talk mm. to each other. And I feel like we think, like, we both feel safe and, like, comfortable enough to tell each other how we feel. Yeah. Because, like, there's never been a time where either of us have gotten upset for, like, how we feel. Mm. You know? So. I think you and I are just really on par with each other. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you for that. Next question. Five-year plan. It's going to take forever. Well, I already did. We already did some of it as far as, like, the job and stuff. Having a wedding. Um, it's part of the plan. We need to get you a new car. We need to have the wedding. We need to get... Moved. We need to move. We need to have our own land. That Okay, um, five years, though. Five years. I'm thinking by the end of the five years... That's when we'll we would have moving. a kid? We'll be moving. Wait, you think it's going to take us five years to move? No. Okay, wait. Kid at the end of the five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving at the end of three. Three? Because okay. our wedding is going to be like a year and a half. <sighs> I want to do next spring, but... um. I know, but... Some people don't want that. Well, it's not that I don't want that. I just know that that's impossible. How's it impossible? Because we don't money and there's so much to do. And we haven't planned any of it. Like, you want to <laughs> you want to do it that soon? We should have been already planning the wedding. Well, the way we could do it is we could just plan a date. And then, that I mean, if you don't have a date set, then you're never going to get prepared for that date. But if you do have a date set, you're gonna, you'll get prepared for it. <laughs> you just have like yeah. a blank uh, <laughs> fluoride stare with me right now. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You've never seen those pictures? She's like, when you say something controversial, but all you get is the fluoride stare. Because I was, like, thinking about how we have done nothing for the wedding. Like, we have I was a just list. Thinking, huh? We have a list. That's all we have. We have one draft. Can we get up for that, though? Some people don't even make it to the first draft. Some people, a lot of people break out before they get to the draft. That's crazy. Yeah, so five year plan, get Mallory a new car, uh get married, get a house with land, and then have kids at the end of that five years. Obviously get get the podcast bigger. Um learn more in HVAC, maybe become a lead, become a salesman with whatever that may be. So we could be good, buddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you agree? Yes, I do agree. I all think right. all of those things will happen for you. As for my career path and oh, well, what yeah. I'm doing, <sighs> that's it's up in the air right now. So we'll we'll come back. I don't we'll know. Come back. I struggle. I have struggles. We all struggle. Yeah. Um. Okay. Do you have any um more? You don't I, have any. I do. Oh, you just want to? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pull up some. Shout out to oh Michael LePan. Apparently, he just got broken up with. He had a girlfriend? Apparently. Oh, you know what? He does. Or he did. And I slid up on his, I slid up on his story <laughs> when he, like, hard launched her. And I said... I never saw it, bro. I said, who is this, Michael LePan? <laughs> and then I never opened his snap. The reason why y'all probably broke up is because you never went and talked to Brandon Rose about how to keep a good relationship. Just saying. Um, so this is from Somerset. Well, I'm so sorry, but in his head, possibly... He might have seen the prior two. Because one time me and Michael sat and talked. I told him. Mm. And then that was it. Told him what? Well, because I was trying to get info. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Screw you for that. I just want to say that. Why? Freaking snitching on me. Why? At the, well, at the time, past, past Brandon. Was pissed. Pissed. 
uh, of off of Michael LePan. But why? Because I might have been doing some dirty stuff. He and I was. was te- I was telling Michael LePan in confidence that he was going to keep it between us. The whole time, he was telling the enemy. He was His snitching on me, His uncle is bro. literally my godparent. Okay, but he would Bro code. Bro code. Family. Y'all are not family, bro. Sort of. Sort of. It's like there. Okay, but whatever. I'm not too... I yeah, mean, at the time, I was should, a little annoyed. It was care. like, okay, bro. Like, also, you shouldn't be... Like, you should be keeping our secrets. Like like, like what I said. Private conversation. No, but it's It should not, be private conversation. It's not like I'm, like, crazy in a sense that, like, I went and, like, did crazy things with that information. No. All it did was make me sad. More <laughs> sad than I already was. You know, Um, like, it's not like I like went up to you and was like, who is this? Whatever, blah, 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 blah. You know, what is freaking hilarious is after me and Mallory broke up, we did work together for a little bit. And this girl did ask for my Snapchat and I gave it to her. And then Mallory had her little minions working with me. She had her little minions and every single one of them told on me, bro. That's literally that, not it, what it, happened. Yes, I did not ask was for Michael, reports. Who was it? Was it, it was Michael Georgia. LePan? No. Brinley and Georgia. Okay. They First all of told all, on me. That's all because on you brother because brother got game. Because brother got game, I got snitched how on. How old was she? She was 16. No, but like how old was she? I really real? don't remember. Because she was young. Second of all. She had to have been 18 or 19. I wouldn't have got an Second underage all, girl's Snapchat. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're making me paint out me to be a pedo. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But I never, like, I did not ever once say, report back to me, like, what he's doing on his shifts. No. They just did that. Like, I didn't ask them to do that. But they care, some snitches, bro. they care about me because they saw how <laughs> fucking sad I was. And they were like, dude, stop being sad over this man. He doesn't care about you. He's literally trying to talk to other people. That's why they told me because they were like, you're stupid. You look dumb because I'm at work in front of you bawling my eyes out. Like literally Balling. tore up every day. And then, oh, guys, y'all got to hear this one. He would literally still be trying to like play with me like he would like slap my ass sometimes at no, work still so, yes. i didn't i did not do that yes he did <laughs> and he would like flirt with me and do all of these things some days at work and then other days silence radio silence and then one time i was like you have to leave me alone like if you don't want to do like do you remember this mm, maybe and then you got like so upset with me and you did not talk to me for the rest of the day and i was like what the like I didn't mean like we can still like talk to me, <laughs> but you can't slap hey, that's my what ass. Happens. I said you can't slap my ass anymore. Uh, I don't. I really don't like to think about that time. That me just, either. That wasn't me. That wasn't who I. You were playing with my little heart. I wasn't doing it on purpose. I was in a bad spot. I will say, I was in a bad spot. I think you knew like where home was, and you just couldn't. You couldn't give up. And then, but actually, you did, and you threw it all away for a minute. But here we are. Like I said, I don't like talking about it. I, I thought I was going in the right direction, but I was not. So, you're right. Whatever. Let me get to the questions. But that sucks. You got broken up with Michael Pan. Yeah. Maybe if you didn't snitch on me, it wouldn't have ever happened. All right. Um, shout out to Summer. My one of my favorite cousins. Um, go follow her on TikTok. Yes, she does the best freaking haul reviews. Yeah, we love watching her TikToks. So. Uh, so, yeah, thank you, Summer, for this. <laughs> yes, you will be invited to the wedding. You're going to be the best man. Um, Was she that says, her question? No. Oh. She said, I better be invited to the wedding. You will be? Yes, of course. Uh, so, uh, her first question is, what are y'all's goals together in the long run for the future? I think we just kind of discussed that a little bit. We did, for sure. I would say, like, <clears throat> I guess longer like, than five years. Like, I really and truly just want to live a peaceful, happy life and, like, form our own family. Yeah. That is, like, and I want to travel with you. Like, I want to experience a lot of different things and, like, go places that, like, we've never been before or maybe like we've been but like not together you know Mm -hmm. like i really do want to just like live our lives to the fullest as we can yeah yeah i mean me too i think i want to have a lot of kids 
And then I think it would really be cool to have a family compound, but like the do it the right way. Um, not not have as as much craziness going on or toxicity or whatever whatever happens these days and like the normal ones. Yeah. I don't know. I would like um, a farm or like yeah, like I a farm. really want to like have like a have garden animals, have and land. grow like our own vegetables and food and yeah. stuff. Like the nice houses, they they're nice, but majority of the time they're in these neighborhoods where you don't have you don't have a fence. Um, you don't really even have a yard. I would much rather have to kind of cut out the size of the house for the acreage of land yeah i don't really want a big house i think I want, it would be nice to be a, like a decent I size want a pretty, pretty house. house yeah i don't like it doesn't not, necessarily have to be big yeah but um what i'm gonna do with the podcast right and just social media in general i'm gonna get really big i'm gonna make all this money i'm going to uh, invest a lot of this money a lot of the money that i make um, maybe make a couple advertisement deals or whatever, then I'm a sell out. You're a sell out? I'm a sell out. What you mean? Like sell your soul? No, I'm gonna all the social media stuff I have Sell it? The whatever the whatever the brand may be, I'm selling it. I'm gonna make a few hundred million and then why is that I funny? I hope so. Make a few hundred million and then just vanish off the face of the earth. That is a literally what PewDiePie f- did. That's a phenomenal idea, and I support a thousand percent. Like to just disappear and like <sighs> live off the grid and like self sufficient. <laughs> Not self sufficient, but just yeah, we can. I though. mean, just that's what I, I want. Like I have struggles with being on social media now. Like it's sometimes draining, but it's what <laughs> I, I like doing. I hate being on social media. Yeah. Like he's definitely the more social media person <sighs> out of the yeah. relationship. Dude, I get hate comments so much on TikTok where it's like when I go when after I post a video and I let it sit for a little bit and I go back to like check the analytics and all that stuff, when I see that little bubble pop up at the comments, I'm just like this mother. I'm just waiting for it to be a hate comment. And it's only on TikTok. It's only ever on TikTok. I post all the time on YouTube Shorts. Never get any hate. Never get any type of hate. It's always like, "Oh, this is funny." But like TikTok be like, "Put the put the fries in the bag, bro." Not everyone should have a podcast. I so badly wish you would let me <laughs> respond. No, there's no point I in responding. I have some good responses, and I would rip y'all to shreds. Leave my boyfriend alone, fiance. I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna post this as a clip, and then people are gonna hate on you, and you're not gonna be able to. You're not gonna be able to get to it. I, I had, will respond if they're hating on me. I I'm had responding. Hundreds of people hate on me because I was like hundreds. Yes. When I did, when I like made that video for like Sun Hat Kid and everything. Oh yeah. I got so much hate. Be like, oh, this dude's doing it just for the money. You're like, you don't like. They were just saying, oh, Aaron backstabbed Danny or whatever. Like, like whatever. People like, and I was just listen. People were hating on me so much for that. And it was like, I, I don't even care, bro. I don't even know who this is. Literally, I, don't I know just who you think are. like people who do that and people who leave hate comments and just negativity through social media are losers who have no life and have nothing better to do than to put a hate comment like there's actually no point if you think it okay scroll like you don't have to do that imagine like because there are so many people who have literally died Mm -hmm. from that one of the the one girls like her name is aubrey or something yeah. Like three girls she are was, bullying She her. was like 13. Yeah. And that's so sad. Mm-hmm. And then people are bullying the mom and her sisters <clears throat> because they post on TikTok about their yeah. grief and their experience and whatever. And oh, this made me really mad. I went on a dive. I mm-hmm. go on TikTok deep dives at night. <laughs> Watch out for the eels, fellas. <laughs> Moray eels? They'll get you. They have two sets of jaws. Anywho. Um, Could you not move the mic so I'm much, please? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Rookie. But this, like, 30-year-old woman, I hate when he does this shit. Open your eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's for you. Perfect. What were you trying to do? You were trying to do any of them? Yeah. Uh, um, this real, 30... Real. Real. All right, continue. The 30-year-old mom? Yeah, I don't know if she's a mom herself, but she posted and was saying how, like, all of the things that 
Aubrey, I, get, I think is her name, mom should have done differently or could have done and what, blah, 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 blah. And like, literally, what good does that do? Literally, like, shut up. she didn't do anything. Literally. literally. Mm-hmm. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> so what was what was next? Were we about to say anything else about that? Or no, anything I think else? that was really it. Yeah, if you're a hater, bro, just fuck off. Yeah, well, I wasn't gonna say that, but I was just two big ones. I mean, for you gotta you. you gotta pay attention to you know your friends and family might listen to this. Yeah, I'm sa- I'm literally doing good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you're a hater, just stay at the house. Well, you already stay at the house, so we all know that. Stay off the um, line. Yeah. So the next question is, do y'all want kids? Yes, we do. About five or six. Thank you for the question. Okay. Um, Dang, bro. Summer and Morgan must be the same. How do y'all handle a disagreement? Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Mm -hmm, Okay. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why would you ask these questions again? Just (laughs) just because I know Summer wants to be in the video. Okay. I needed a shout out or TikTok anyway. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. But yeah, uh, f- as far as like disagreements, I think we just kind of communicate and talk it out. I think communication is a big thing. Um, I think a lot of people don't communicate when they're in a relationship. Yeah. I think <laughs> it helps also that one, we're like, you're my best friend. Like outside mm-hmm. of this relationship. Like, you're also my best friend, you know? And I yeah. just feel like we're, like, the same person. So it's really easy for us to just be, like, we both need to take a step back, realize, like, who we are to each other and, like, how insignificant this is in the grand scheme of things. And then Yeah, I mean, majority of the time, like, don't sweat the small stuff, bro. Like, just, it's small stuff. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Use that energy when something does come up. Yeah. Not like the hateful energy, but just like the uh, the energy of communication is what I mean to say. I also want to say I think it's really important to always have like support for each other and always show like gratitude, even if it is something little or like something that they do every day or whatever. I think it's always important to make them feel like you're not just like getting used to that action. You are always thankful for it. Mm-hmm. You know, that's just something I wanted to throw out yeah. there. Like do, always show appreciation. Yeah. <clears throat> do not, like what Sean Brooks said, do not talk to your friends, to your family, to anyone about your relationship because Facts. you are only going to be talking to that person about the bad things that your significant other or your partner does that makes you upset. You never tell them the good things that the partner does. Now, in some instances, it probably is okay to talk to somebody else about your partner. For example, if you find your partner talking to underage people or if they are cheating, that is when it is probably acceptable to talk to somebody else. But other than that, little spiffs here and there, little arguments, little dumb things, little small stuff. Especially if you know <clears throat> you are planning to stay with the person. Yes. Because, <laughs> like, what? Just yes. Because <laughs> that just makes you look dumb. Not only that, it like you are so much easier or willing to forgive your partner than your family or your friends. And they're not going to ever, like, it could be five years from now, and they're going to be like, but do you remember when he did that? Yeah, those people will always remember that stuff that that pe- person did to you. And they don't know <coughs> the, in, the inside of y'all's relationship. Mm-hmm. So regardless, their advice that they're giving you is not, it could never be accurate. It's only what you want to hear. Yeah. And it's not, it needs to be both you communicating like, and they're just going to make you think things that aren't true. Yeah, I don't think I've ever really done that with any type of relationship and talk about that. Like, I've, I have I don't really talk about a relationship at all with really anyone. And I don't do that in, like, a, I'm embarrassed of you. But it's like, I don't know. I just, 
I just don't because like I don't want other people to be in the relationship or whatever. Yeah. Like a lot of people or, or a lot of guys will talk about like <laughs> like their sex life and stuff with their partner. I'm just like, I don't really care to hear that. And I've never been the one to talk about that either. Yeah. I wouldn't really want you <clears throat> to talk about like our sex life. Yeah, because I feel like I would be I like, would exposing not, yeah. you in some type of way. And I would never want to do that to yeah, you. No. No. I... I mean, I appreciate that. I feel like you just respect me a lot. Mm -hmm. And I don't really agree. Like, you do talk about me. Like, well, I was going to say I don't talk about our relationship either, like, to anybody. Because I, like, we talk about it. And I don't feel like... <sighs> I just don't want to. I don't have any care for it. Mm -hmm. um, but... What was I gonna say? Oh, you, like... <laughs> On the podcast and stuff. Like, you do talk about me. Oh, it's just yeah, never just in negative ways. Negativity is like Shout reduction. Out. And I appreciate that. Yeah. I don't talk about you in a negative way either. Hey. Gang, gang. Do you have any other questions? <clears throat> yeah, shirts are still available. Uh... I would lie to you and say that we have a limited stock, but um, I have majority of the shirts still. So if you are you are interested in buying one, that would be amazing. Just DM us, email us, whatever. Yes. <laughs> They're very high quality and cute shirts. Color yeah. picked by me. They're not the middle of the mall type stuff, bro. No. They're, they're not, not no um, Gildan. Yeah. $5 shirt. <laughs> Come on, bro. It's, the, it's high quality. All right, question. Um, okay, this is the last question. Which, to be honest with you, with y'all, these answers are probably going to be new information for both of us. Oh, that is a question we've never heard before. Before. I like that. Well, it's just something that we don't talk about often enough, and we should. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm scared now. So it's wedding ideas, question mark. Oh, my god. The vibe, the size, <laughs> the aesthetic. Size? Oh. Huge. Um. Huge. Huge. Uh, so Riff Raff will be making an appearance. We'll be making an appearance at the wedding. Um, We're actually already... gonna have it at um, Graceland. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've already reached out to his people. Um, he is definitely down to do it. Um, so definitely, he will be there for sure. So those are the, gonna be the vibes. We're gonna have Riff Raff vibes, Jody High Roller vibes, Down and Tony, Cranberry Vampire, Tail Tone Lobster. Um, what at what have you? You know, we'll be tiptoeing in our Jordans. We'll, we'll be tiptoeing in our Jordans, three, four, and five. We'll be in our Boda Scotch Bay Bruce. You know what I'm saying? We'll be drinking a gallon of Ciroc. Yep. We'll, we'll be have only some, in America. What is it? The Peach Panther. No, we'll have some Carlos Slim. Croatian cuties doing our cuticles. Two Croatian cuties <laughs> clean my cuticles. For I love riff raff, bro. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Okay, no, that's not real that's quick. True. Okay. <laughs> So there's a C, there there's an album that Riff Raff came out with back in 2016 called the Peach Panther album, right? And it's him. He's wearing like a pe peach suit. colored suit. He's on the front, and there's two girls beside him. And obviously at the top it says Peach Panther, and then like the whole thing is peach. Are those the two Cro Croatian cuties? No, because they're not Croatian. <laughs> <laughs> and that song came out like within the last couple of years. Uh. So that is a album from 2016, almost 10 years ago. But if you go and search it up on like Walmart or Best Buy or Target, you can still buy it, which is insane. Are you asking why? No, I'm just, I'm just like telling you guys. Oh, go get your album. Like it's just crazy because like if you look up any of his other albums, even in the Neon Icon album, which is probably his most f popular one, you can't buy that like on Walmart or anything, even though that came out two years prior in 2014. Um, but it's just crazy to me that you can buy the Peach Panther album. You can buy, also, you can buy the CD and you can buy the vinyl on Walmart. And you can also buy the Alcoholic Alligator CD and vinyl on, like, Walmart, Target, and Best Buy. Which, Alcoholic Alligator came out in, like, 2017. So I'm just wondering, what, like, did they have a back stock of these CDs? Did they buy a bunch of these CDs thinking they were going to really sell out? And then they just didn't? Like, what's the, like, I'm getting mine August 6th. Okay, and like I'm excited because I want to listen to it CD version, but I could also get the vinyl version. 
I just like Riff Raff, if you're listening to this, like, do you have an explanation? I would love to know why. Please get him answers. <clears throat> do, you, do you see the stress? I mean, like, like seriously, seriously, like, yeah. why? <laughs> why did only one album? And I, I mean, I love every single album of yours, Mr. Riff or Mr. Raff, if we're speaking technicalities here, but <laughs> um, like Cranberry <laughs> Vampire is my favorite, you know, but like why Peach, why that Peach Panther album? Like, yeah. why is that the only one available like on why? like Walmart? And it's like, we need answers. I'm just saying, bro. I'm going to get those answers for you. I'll deliver them to you on our wedding. <sighs> yeah. Like Alcoholic Alligator, it was all right. Um, if it wasn't my favorite, but like it was definitely like an enjoyable one. But uh, yeah. What's your least favorite riff rap album? Probably Cool Blue Jewels because I don't even think he has one verse in it. It's just a bunch of features. What? I know. Okay. I okay. think he probably. I don't know what it was. I don't know why. I really don't know why. What is your least favorite look of Riff Raff? I don't have one. Every look of Riff Raff is crazy, and I love it. Okay. Yeah. Favorite album is probably Cranberry <laughs> Vampire. Um. Or uh, Pink Python. That was the first album that I ever listened to. I remember I was working at the Grovetown store, um, and I lived about 20, 25 minutes away. You and definitely I would... live farther away. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Maybe 30 minutes. Um, and I would listen to that album, and or I would listen to the Teal Toad Lobster album. Um, both of those have really good bangers. Facts. We saw him in concert. We did. That's actually when he decided that he wanted to marry me. Okay, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm kidding. <clears throat> good night, though. Very fun. We always have a good time mm -hmm. going to do things. Yeah, I'm glad you liked Riff Raff. It was fun. Past people didn't didn't really like Riff Raff. Who cares? <laughs> I just think it's funny. Ain't nothing but a thing. I, you just, know? I just think it's funny. Can I say? Can I bring that? Up? Can I say something about that real quick? Sure. Permission. Okay. Granted. So, the girl that I was dating before you, obviously, I. had... Not recently gotten into Riff Raff, but I was I was beginning my tenure in the liking of Riff Raff, yeah. all right? I had started, you know, posting in the Facebook group. I was, he was my top two, or you no, know, he was my number one artist on Spotify the past couple of years. So, like, at the time, like, Riff Raff was really big for me because I was just learning about him and all that kind of stuff. And the girl said, I think you like Riff Raff more than me. And Did I was you? like, no. Well... <laughs> Yes, of course I did. <laughs> I didn't, like it was just a crazy. I don't know. It was just a crazy thing to say, and it, I think she was just jealous that I probably cared more about Riff Raff than her. <clears throat> I'm sorry, except I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Never mind. What? I was gonna say. I remember one time, freaking. She was like, "Why do you like Riff Raff?" And I like. I, so I told her, and I told her this like satire slash comedic freaking paragraph. She was like. You would never say anything like that about me or something like that. And I'm like, bruh, it's Riff Raff, bruh. Oh, my bruh. God. It's Riff Raff. It's Riff Raff, bruh. Mm, yeah. But Riff Raff, you're the goat. But you know what Forced, I did? you're the best. You know what I did? What? I would watch old YouTube videos and listen ah. to all... Ah. <laughs> Riff Raff knows what I'm talking about if he's listening, I know bro. what you're talking about. Ah. I know what you're talking about. Ah. Have some bottles here. Ted Swift living over there. Ah. 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 That's his house tour, is it not? <laughs> what? Is that his house tour? Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I am and will always be the one for you. You know? Yeah. Do you, do you not agree? <laughs> yeah, I just love Riff Raff, bro. I'm tearing up at the, sight, at the thought of it. <laughs> It's just like he did when he proposed to me. Boom. There are probably less tears than this, but yeah. Uh, anything else that you want to say? Sorry I went on a rant for Riff Raff, bro. Yeah, I was just... I, um, you asked me a question and then you continued to speak. So I just think it's weird that the let's one listen album, to, let's listen to the me two now. albums are available on Walmart. Okay. So get him answers for that, please and thanks. Also, um, I sat in his bed on his... No, on his bed in his apartment. On Riff Raff's? Yep. Oh. Uh. No. On yours. And we watched Riff Raff videos anytime we were in the car. Still to this day, we listened to Riff Raff, went to a concert with him, who was Riff Raff. <laughs> oh, um, duh. So, I love you. Mm, I don't, yeah. And I don't think that <clears throat> because you have, you're a stan. 
I'm not of a stand. Mr. Rath. I'm not a stand for real. You are. I just That's think him and I would be good friends. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. But you're a big fan. And I don't think that that takes. Huge. Anything away from me. Because you're my biggest fan. Yeah. And I'm yours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. This has been really fun. Oh, yeah, this has been fun. We didn't really answer the last question, though. But wedding, we're probably going to have about 130 people. Um, that was kind of around the number that we had on the first draft. Um... I don't know what the vibes are going to be. I know Mallory kind of wants, like, a very colorful wedding, which I think that would be cool. But, like, we got to have dancing, bruh. Oh, yes. Like, I've already been thinking about some tunes, some songs, some playlists, maybe. Like, the past couple that can weddings. That your, your thing. What? You make the wedding playlist. <clears throat> oh, yeah, boy. But I have final say. Ain't nothing but right right in there, John. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, oh. They're gonna be, you can yes, throw oh. a few, but yes, oh. not a, like one or two. <clears throat> but it's your wedding, you know. It is our wedding. Yes, but everyone says like it's the bride, like it's my wedding. It blah, is, blah, blah. bro. But like it's your wedding too. Yeah, I guess so. Are you about to play riff raff? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna find a play riff raff, bro. Wait, um, can we finish answering the question? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yes, I'm waiting. I do want it to be I very feel, yeah, colorful. I feel like, yeah, that was it. And the vibes and how many people. See, this is why we have no planning or anything started or done. Because there is more to be talked about. But he's like, we have a list. Like, what more do we need? So much more, you know? So much more. We have the list. A list of people, but nowhere for them to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're so... What? Just keep saying what you're saying. I'm, I'm trying to find something. I'm done. You done? What song should I play, bro? His discography is unmatched. He's I don't also know if goes I was in and out of phases where I he's do. like super, super riff -raff I do. And then super not. And well, it's not that I'm not super riff -raff. I'm just like, I, he like I still listen to him. But like every time I, re like I refine riff -raff, I'll go down like a dark hole. Or whatever. Like this, like right now, I'm on the like I'm still on the CD thing. Like, why is this CD available on the freaking thing, bro? I don't get it. I don't get it. Probably because like no one bought it. <laughs> yeah, good one. Um. <laughs> oh. Real. Do I look? Yeah. Oh. Oh my. I might move to Mexico. Uh. Diamonds shining, jumping out the gym. I might move to Mexico. Carlos Slim. I fly past in the black Camaro. You know I feel like? It's a celebration. <laughs> Kissing Yetta. I've got to exit the podcast now. No, 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 no. No, I feel like Tessa Brooks. <laughs> I'm just like. Tessa Brooks. She's like. The competition no, shook. Literally. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> or like rice gum in that video. All right. But yeah, um, thank you guys for listening. We appreciate it. Uh, I hope you learned something of value in this. I feel like hopefully you do. I feel like there's a lot of yapping going on. But still, um, hope you were enjoy. I hope you had some fun. You maybe took away some things. Hope you laughed yeah. too. Um, I'm always happy to <coughs> be on an episode mm -hmm. whenever I get the chance. So I had a lot of fun. Yeah. And I do hope, obviously, every relationship is different. All, everyone does things differently, and it doesn't mean that we're right or wrong. Mm -hmm. So live your life, and if you're happy, that's great. Um, and then let us know if you want me to be on more episodes, because I think it's fun. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, I think one of the most important things is finding the right person. That is one of the most important things. Yeah. Agreed. Because every relationship I, I was ever in before Mallory, I always thought, oh, well, we're going we're gonna to be together forever. But then I met, then obviously those didn't work out. Things happen. Then I met, met Mallory. It's like, well, you got to find the right person. I will say that. 
But wait, finish. Well, that's, I and mean, then you met me. I mean, and yeah. you think the same? No, like I like. It's just it's just a different feeling. Yeah. I feel like I like I have found the right person. You know. I agree, because I. Our relationship pasts are very very different. However, I had one relationship that was <clears throat> like. 13 years long. That's a bit extreme. Like 10, maybe. <laughs> but like, I also thought that. And then, but also you have like a feeling of that's not, that can't be it. You know, like mm-hmm. there's definitely something better out there. Or like, this is just like, I'm comfortable or this is what I know and I don't want to find like, no one else is going to like me or whatever. Yeah. And I think it's, like, once you realize, like, oh, you actually are, like, worthy of something better, better comes. And that's how I found my person. I mean, we, I can sit here and talk all day about the, you know, just, like, what to do in a relationship. I feel like I'm I'm good with that. <clears throat> I would say. But, um... Maybe we'll leave that for a part two or something. I would love, I love listening to, to you talk about it. Yeah. It makes me really like happy. And now I made the right decision. Yeah. You know, because yeah. we don't talk about stuff like this often, <coughs> guys. We just live it. We live it, baby. But it's nice for both of us, I think, whenever we like can hear yeah. it's spoken. I mean, yeah, thank you guys for listening. I appreciate it. Um, let us know what you think. Don't forget to, you know, do all the like, the comments, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah. Don't leave a hate comment. Or do. I won't really care. Bye. Got my soul in a choke. I feel I can't breathe. Keep my foot on the gas. My life in full speed. Feel like I.